Okay guys, welcome back to part 2 of the 3D Minecraft series. In this video, we're going to make the basic controls such as jumping, moving, right, left, back, forward, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we're also going to make the gravity and things like that, okay? So, um, yeah, so you might have noticed, you probably didn't, but um, over here I made the, like the blocks border uh, black. Um, and in the last tutorial, I made them white, uh, just to show you guys, but I forgot to change it back to black. So. Um, like if it's black, obviously like you can see each block better. You can differentiate each block. So yeah So I recommend that you make it black, but um, yeah, you can choose you can you can also make it white or red or blue or anything Okay, but then you have to use hexadecimal stuff and um, that part is right over here This one um, No, wait, wait, it's uh, over here. Yeah So zero 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 and so on that means it's black because there's no like light so it's zero okay but if you want white then you make this f f f f f f and then you'll see that it's white and it's clearly really hard to like differentiate between each block but um yeah i'm just gonna make it back to black <clears throat> yeah so right now i'm trying to move and jump and everything but i can't okay when i try to jump then the page actually shifts up okay and um what we actually want to do is make the player jump, okay? So how do we do this? We have to use pointer lock controls, which is right up here. This this is like a really easy way to um, work with FPS games and things like that. So um, so so far we know how to look around. That's quite simple. Uh, controls the lock, okay? Now we have to say what happens when we um, uh, lock and unlock, okay? Now actually I don't think that's necessary, but what we can do is we can say um, for example, um, okay, um, yeah, let me just show you, show you guys this algorithm that I wrote, um, I think it's over, here we go, so, um, this algorithm that I wrote, it's quite simple, it's, uh, yeah, this part, so checking which key is pressed, the way it does, like, what happens is, like, when, when in JavaScript, uh, like, I'm not so, um, good with, like, key pressing syntax in JavaScript, so, what I did, I made it, when you click a key, it gets the, the key value, so e dot key, the event key, and then, um, yeah, and then I'll explain this part later. Now, what it does, it appends that it puts the key into the array uh, called keys, and then when you leave the key, then what it does is it um, makes a new array that will be um, this array afterwards, and what it does, it goes through each of the elements in the keys array, so like it goes through each of the elements that were being pressed, Sorry, each of the keys that were being pressed, and it says that if if the um, if the key that is that was being pressed is not equal to the key that has been like released, then um, then what you want to do you have to in, into this new array uh, you um, <clears throat> you push like you put in the value of the key that was being pressed, and then yeah, so it's kind of complicated, but um yeah, if you just trust me, it'll work, okay? So uh, yeah, so how do we do this? So I'm just gonna copy this part, um, copy this part, and then paste it over here. Okay, so right over here, and then um, yeah. So it's quite simple stuff, but really hard to explain. Um, if you want me to explain, you can just leave it in the comments, and then I, I might I might make like a separate video just to explain um, this algorithm. It's quite cool, and then um, yeah, this part. And we have to put this in the update function because like I said in the first tutorial, the update function is like about the game itself and it keeps updating. So yeah, so what this does is um, if the if keys includes um, W, so if W is being pressed, um, then um, the controls, which is the 3.js, um, sorry, that's the variable that we declared. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, right here. So new 3.js point to lock controls. Uh, it has built-in function called move forward, move right, move forward, move right. Okay, so move forward and then moving speed. We have to create a moving speed variable. Okay, it's just like how fast you want to move. Okay, so I'm just, how much did I put over here again? 1.5. Okay, so 1.5. Okay, so like 1.5. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, maybe it's like meters per second. I I don't know. Cause like in programming, there's no meters per second, right? So, anyways, uh, controls don't move forward, moving speed, which is 1.5. And then um, minus one times moving speed, which is the other way, so moving right. 
Um, so yeah, yeah, cause like it's A is D, so A is left, and this is this says move move right, cause in three dot there's no move left. It just cause if you want to move left, it just minus one times move right. So and same with move forward. There's no there's no um, uh, sorry move backwards. There's no move backwards. So if you want to move backwards, you have to do minus one times the move speed, and then um, cause like you're moving forward negatively, which is backwards. Okay, so. Yeah, that's quite simple. Let's see if this works. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay, and uh, yeah, so you can move uh, just like in Minecraft. It's pretty cool. But as you can see, I can't jump. So I, right now I'm clicking the space bar and I can't jump. And that's what we're going to code right now. It's pretty simple. Um, and this might appear, okay, because um, we're doing it in the web. So it takes up a lot of energy. So yeah, anyways, so we can move right now. Let, now let's code the jumping. So I'm just gonna go over here, and I'm gonna say um, over here, if e dot t is equal to um, spacebar, okay, then y speed is equal to minus seven, okay. Let me just remove this, and then let's start from scratch, okay. So var, um, wait, how do I do this? So yeah, so let's say camera dot position, because like camera is pretty much the person. Camera dot position dot y is equal to camera dot position dot y um, plus wait plus is it plus or minus um, yes yeah, minus okay minus y speed okay um, yeah because like the y axis is going downwards and you want to fall down all the time unless you click space okay so always fall down and we're gonna declare a y speed variable so y speed is equal to zero at the start is zero because it has to accelerate right so um, and then we're gonna do y speed, because this, so this acceleration is equal to y speed plus, um, let's say ink, okay? Or I think I used an ink variable before, yeah, right over here. So I'm gonna say plus um, acceleration, and then var acceleration. Well, this is this is more like the acceleration of the acceleration, but whatever. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. So acceleration is equal to uh, let's just say one, okay? How much did I put over here? 0 0.3, okay, yeah, let's just put 0 0.3. And the reason why I'm copying from this is because like these values are like perfect, so like so we don't waste time, it's much easier. And um, yeah, so what this, what I did so far, I made the position, um, sorry, I made the player, which is the camera, always fall down due to gravity, and I made the, um, made the falling down, getting, like I made it each, like let's say, time this update function gets called, it increases the speed of the falling down, so it kind of accelerates, okay? Now, we don't want the player to continuously accelerate, right? At some point, he has to hit the ground and stop accelerating. So what we have to do is we have to run a for loop that goes through each of the blocks and checks if the person has hit the block, okay? So var i is equal to zero. i should be smaller than um, cam, sorry, blocks dot length. And then I have to check, yeah, okay. So blocks are length and then I plus plus. If, okay, and and we don't want it so, um, yeah, so like we want something like this and not something like, um, yeah. So, so like right now the camera camera's position is actually like right up here. And uh, what we want it to be is that the camera is like two blocks above like the block under it, okay? Cause like, you know, that's how Minecraft works. Like, the the camera in Minecraft is not all the way down at the block. It's like a couple of meters ahead, like upwards. Like, because the face is, the face is all the way at the top, but the feet is all the way at the bottom, okay? So, anyways. Um, yeah, so if the blocks i dot y position, so the blocks y position is, um, if it's smaller, then sorry if it's smaller no okay so if the camera if the camera dot position dot y is smaller than the blocks of the i dot y then what you want to do is um oh no wait so first you have to make it um like you have to detect if it collides okay so if and the colliding thing is quite simple so if the camera dot position dot y is wait let's think about it if it's smaller if it's no sorry not not dot y dot x 
dot x if the camera the position dot x is smaller or equal um, smaller or equal to um, the blocks um, x position plus five yep yeah. and if the camera dot position dot x is bigger or equal to the blocks position dot x and then we have to do the same thing for z so if camera dot position dot z is smaller or equal to the blocks um, z position plus five and if um, camera dot position dot z is bigger or equal to blocks i dot z okay so i think this will work um yeah if it doesn't then yeah okay anyways so if camera the position of y is smaller than blocks of the i to y so this if statement checks if the camera is like colliding okay with the block this one however checks if um if um whew, if uh if the camera oh, oh yeah sorry so so this if statement it checks if the player is on top of a block and this one checks if um, the player has gone under the one the, the block that is that it was on top of okay so um, over here we have to say if that is equal if this statement is true then we will make the camera position um, equal to the blocks y position okay and then we want to say that the y speed is equal to zero okay so we want to just stop um, going down. Okay, so let's just see if this works. Oh wow! Okay, so it's working. I'm falling down, and I it's kind of like auto jump. So it's we'll, so like at some point we we'll have to make this auto jump much better. And uh, yeah, there are some few glitches. You can see. I think yeah, I just like, I'm under like I'm inside the block right now. So um, yeah, so we we'll have to make like a colliding system after that. Uh, after this tutorial, and then yeah, I just fell completely down. Okay. Um, yeah, and right now I still can't jump, but I can fall. So uh, I think the gravity is too strong. Yeah, so let's just make the gravity a bit, a bit weaker. So I'm gonna go like acceleration is equal to negative two. Let's say I meant two, zero point two. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Whatever. Anyways, um, now we have to make the jumping control. So the cool thing about the jumping um, control is really easy. So as you know for this for this part the camera is going down because the y speed is a positive number so it's going like camera to position minus whatever the y speed is but what if we made the y speed po uh, sorry negative then will be minus and then minus y speed okay so what if this y speed, so right now the y speed let's say it could be 1 okay so the camera the, the camera's y position is going down uh, by 1 like each time but what if this was a minus 1 then minus and minus become plus. So the camera is actually going to go upward. So we can say, um, so I'm just going to do Y speed. I'm going to say um, over here, if E dot key is equal to spacebar, then Y speed is going to equal to negative one. Yeah, so right now I'm jumping, but it's um it's it, like it's not I'm not pushing so much like there's not so much force in me, okay so I can put like minus five let's say. Um, boink. Yeah, so this is like a more high, this is a higher jump, but it's not really Minecrafty. So let's get a proper Minecraft jump. Minus three. How about that? Um, yeah, I, I mean it has to be only one block. So, um, and I'm gonna make this. Eight acceleration much smaller how much should I there we'll put 0 0.3 there I'm gonna make it like 0, 0.0 I'm gonna make it like 0 0.08 okay and I'm gonna make the y speed negative 3 over there Oof, that's like the moon okay um, yeah I feel like this is fine the falling down part so I have to make uh, less force a uh, smaller force so I have a negative one now Um, 
And I think this moving speed is way too fast. Yeah. So we, so we also have to change the moving speed. And I, I'm just going to go like minus 1.3, let's say. Uh, maybe that makes a small difference. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, and then uh, moving speed, let's say 1. Or let's make it 0.7. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So this is moving in Minecraft. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. And in the next episode, we're going to learn how to like collide with a block. So like when we know when we're colliding with the block. Um, so like over here, we have to know when we're colliding with this block. And, and the reason why we like auto jumping is because is because like it's saying that I'm under this block right now. So it's going to make my white position equal to the block. Right. So that's why I'm going to go up. So yeah, so we we'll have to change that, um, or we we'll have to update it, and we we'll have to make it like more realistic, like in Minecraft. So yeah, so um, as you can see, I'm flapping like Flappy Bird. I can just keep jumping. Okay, now we we'll have to change that. Okay, so let's go ahead and change that. Okay, so guys, that's how you do the uh, jumping control over here. You put a var can jump. This says if the player can jump or not, and at the start, it's equal to true. And I'm just going to make it uh, and can jump is equal to true. So he can only jump if um, the space bar is clicked and also if can jump is true. And then over here, I'm going to put can jump is equal to false. So the moment the person clicks can jump, he's in the air and can jump suddenly becomes false. But when he touches the ground, which is over here, can jump will always equal to true. Okay, so let me just explain this once more. There's a variable called can jump, which uh, says if the player can jump or not at the start is equal to true if the player clicks spacebar the uh, can jump suddenly becomes to false uh, sorry it changes into false and then um, when he hits the ground again it's equal to true again so he can jump again okay so let's check this out yeah there you go so I can't if I keep spamming spacebar I won't go like flappy bird or something uh, I'm just like basic minecraft um, yeah so yeah that was the end of this video, um, or like the last part. Uh, so in this video, I made the controls, the moving controls, moving right, left, back, and everything, um, and forwards, and jumping, and gravity, and yeah. So, yeah, I hope you learned something, and um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. In the next video, we're going to learn, learn how to detect when a player touches the side of a block. So, and we're going to, like, make this auto jump not exist. So, like, you have to jump, actually. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.